Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I am a crypto free YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. And today I am doing a video that is... I saw this on my friend Madeleine's channel, I will leave her down in the description and up here in the corner. And she talked about things she likes and dislikes about palette of things that she wants in pa likes in palette, wants in palette. It was, it was a couple of weeks since I saw this video. And yes, I could look it up, but you know where you are, the girl who doesn't look anything up. And she talked about things that she likes in palettes, and I was, I thought it was a really fun video to watch. And I was like, okay, I'm going to do that myself. So here we are. And I'm going to talk about 10 things that I like about palettes and what I want in my palettes. I think I did a couple of years ago, like, pet peeves about palettes, what I don't like. But yeah, these are 10 things that I prefer about palettes. And first I was like, maybe I'm going to show you palettes, but then I was then I'm going to have to find the palettes that looks like this and uh, then I'm never going to do this video so I'm just going to talk about this and I have 10 things that I'm going to talk about and I think we just get started. So the first things, the first four things are about packaging more than like the, how the palette looks and one thing that I like the most with palettes is when they are in cardboard like paper packaging that is what i prefer the most i do not like plastic i like cardboard and i like when it's a little bit heavier and a little bit more sturdy maybe i actually can show you what i do prefer i prefer like this like nabla they do really good ones it's not like too thin it's a little bit thicker it has a little bit of weight to it, the clo opening and closing is really good on the palette and I just do really like cardboard, it's my favorite when it comes to eyeshadow palettes. I don't like Colourpop's, I don't like these plastic ones, these ones from Colourpop, I, I do like the color stories but I hate the packaging. It just feels like this is going to break and I know this is cheaper palettes. So maybe that's why, but I do not like plastic and I don't like having this closure because it's... I always mess up my nail polish. So this I do not like. I love this. And another thing that I like that I don't feel like other people care that much about, I do love when my palette comes with a mirror. I prefer mirrors in my palettes. I do not think they are like in the way and yeah, I do have like a big mirror in front of me but when I am traveling or I doing my makeup somewhere else that's not at my makeup table or in the bathroom, I like to use the mirror in the palette and also when I'm putting on my mascara and when I'm doing cut crease or halo eye, if I'm going to do something that is a little bit more tricky, I love to hold the palette like this. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't have the best eyesight. It could be with that, but I do really love mirrors in palettes and I'm going to take this palette as an example once more. Do I blind you? I do like when they are big, like this almost fill up the whole lid. It gets a little bit dirty but I can live with that. I do prefer mirrors in my palettes. That is the best, that is what I like the most. I guess it puts on a little bit on the price but I'm okay with that because I do really want a mirror in my palettes. The last two things that I don't like about package but it's also like a little bit what's I don't like odd shapes on palettes. Um, before I had... I can't remember. Color Drain... Queen's Heart? Heart? Qu Queen of Hearts? It's like this super long palette. I do not like long palettes. I like 
this size I like this size and I like this size I don't like it when they are too long or too bulky or just like a weird shape I don't get when was it glam light that had like these pizza palettes and taco palettes I do not like it. I have one palette with an odd shape. I have the Orb of Lights from Black Moon Cosmetics that is a half circle. I do like the palette, but I hate the shape. I don't know how to store it. It, it annoys the crap out of me. I do not like odd shapes. It's a no for me. And the last thing about packaging, but also like the inside, I don't know. I don't like when it's too many shadows. I think 16 is like a good max. Um, maybe 20 if it's like really really good different colors but like this super big 36, 40 pants I do not get it. I don't know how you can't get that much variety if you say like doing a pink palette pinkish leaning palette like more than 20 colors you are just going to dupe yourself out so that's something i don't like i i guess when it was super super popular with like rainbow palettes and maybe then when people maybe just bought one palette and you wanted everything but nowadays Mm, no, and I have never liked super big palettes. I don't think I ever have had... Maybe like my first palette was a big palette from... Yeah, I think I bought like one of these, you know, really cheap 50 colors, 80 colors. I have get rid of that palette a long, long while ago. But now I... I do not get the point of super big palettes. I don't think it's so much variety. I just think it's like duping yourself over and over again. So super big palettes, it's a no for me. Okay, I really hope that we can do this without any examples, but I'm going to try to explain myself as good as I can. And I need to fix how I'm sitting because this is not comfortable. So about color stories. I do not want too many light colors in my palette. I do not even want like 50% light colors, maybe like 30% light and 70% dark colors because I don't think lighter colors aren't that different or you can't do like as much with only light colors and even me like paleless paper says that but I, I, I don't need to bone colors. I don't need that. Nobody needs that. I do not like when it's too many light colors because I think the thing that does makeup look fun and can change the makeup look really much is darker colors. So I want more dark than light. And <laughs> something that I, when talking about darker colors, I do really like when it's more than one dark color and I do like when it's not always a black. I know that the Anastasia Beverly Hills, like in, I think it's in Modern Renaissance and in Soft Glam. It's only in these two, they have a black color. I do understand that a black color, maybe not everybody have a black color, but I don't like it when the only black, only dark color is black. You can do a lot with a black shadow, but I like when it's more option than just a black. I think it's a little bit boring. If you have maybe more green leaning palette, don't put in a black. Put in a really, really dark green that almost looks like a black, but has a green hint to it. So that is something I don't like when the only dark color is a black but I want my palettes to have one really, really dark color, but I don't want it to be black. And if I want to talk about matte and shimmers, I always prefer to have more mattes than shimmers. It usually is that in palettes. I don't know if I have any palettes. Maybe the UVS Place Magic has more shimmers than mattes, 
but I like more mattes than shimmers in my palettes and uh, that's just a preference for me I almost every time use at least one shimmer in my looks but I think it's more fun to play with mattes I, it's not that often that I have like three shimmers on my eyelids maybe two shimmers like today I have two shimmers one light here in my halo and then I mixed it a little bit with a darker or pinkish pinky shimmer to do, go together with the matte but it's not like often that I use more than two shimmers in a look so I don't want too many shimmers in my palettes I want more mattes than shimmers and when it comes to shimmers I do want both light shimmers and dark shimmers I don't want only light shimmers because I really like to have a dark shimmer as well but I don't only want dark shimmers because I like to take something in my inner corner and yes I could take my highlighter but I like to use the eyeshadows that are in the palette that I'm using so I want both light shimmers and dark shimmers and just a good mix of them and I don't think they need to always go together the shimmers because you can mix more off shimmers and off mattes but I do really like when it's both so both dark shimmers and light shimmers another thing that I do really love about color stories is when it has an easy color stories to get looks out of I love it when there is a corresponding like matte and shimmer and you can do a look with only two two shadows if we take the arcana for example because i have it in front of me the thing that i do really love about this except it for being super grungy is if you want a grungy green look you take this green and you take this green and then it's done and i love that about eyeshadow palettes i think it's so fun to just do like an amazing look with only two shimmers and I also love in this palette the Serenity palette from Menagerie that it's collaboration with Annette's makeup corner here it is the same you can do a super easy green look if you want to you have these matte greens and then this shimmer green and you can do a purpley look here and you can do a blow blue look and I just think that is really good and I think that is good both for me that I am used to play with colors but sometimes I just open a palette and I have no idea what I want to do and then it's really easy if it is like the look is already done like the palette has already done the look and also I think it's easy if you're not that used to play with colors or darker col colors I, I can't speak it's a lot of colors I think it's a good way to build a palette and it's easy to use and even though you have like in Serenity palette a lot of done looks you can mix these however you want and that is something that I really really prefer and it's the same thing in the Kaleidos and the Daniela Nyquist palette the three rows there is three looks that are yeah, you don't need to think about it and I love that so so much and the last thing I want to talk about that it's not that common anymore and this is something that I don't want in the palette and that is I think it's just in the way I'm so happy that it's not that common anymore and that is palettes with a pop of color I don't even think that I have one of these anymore or maybe I have this oldie but goldie. This is the Gwen Stefani in Urban Decay palette and this had this typical pop of color, the blue one. And I guess that a couple of years ago this was like the easy way because if you would put in too many colors people maybe wouldn't buy it because for some it's scary for about with colors but I think this was so so popular at one point to put in a pop of color and it was often a blue one and i do not like that i don't know it just throws me off sometimes when it's one color 
that doesn't fit at all. Now I maybe can't say this because I usually do these kinds of look and I mostly have colorful palettes so but yeah that's one thing I am so happy that it's not longer that popular to have a pop of color in eyeshadow palettes because I don't know who it was for and I don't know if it helped anybody at any point I don't know but I'm so happy that that is gone and I don't like when it's a pop of color in a palette and yeah that was all for this video I don't know how this went I never know it's always a surprise for me when I'm editing my videos and trying to make a video out of it and don't forget to check out Madeleine I will of course leave her down in the description and I'm just so happy that she's keeping up with this YouTube thing I'm so happy that she started a channel that she started a channel and yeah I think that was all for this video I do really hope that you like it and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and hope that I will see you in the next one bye